More breaking news from Kerala after Kerala Governor Arif Muhammad Khan was dropped from the Chancellor's post in a deemed university of the state. Now, senior BJP leader, the former Union Minister and Kerala in charge Prakash Javrikar has come out in support of Governor. He lashed out at the Pinaray Vijayan government in Kerala and said that the left that the left government, CPM government, is showing absolute disregard to the constitutional provisions. So once again, the spotlight is back on the big fight breaking out between the Kerala governor and the government in the state of Kerala. Remember, in fact, a uh, day after the governor of the state was dropped, from the Chancellor's post, the summit, the ongoing tussle between Pinaray Vijayan and Governor Arif Mohammad Khan. Now we have senior BJP leader, former Union Minister Prakash Shabrikar coming out in open support of the Governor and lambasting the Kerala government saying that it is clearly not abiding by the constitutional provisions. UDF and LDF as I said, are the same. They are friends throughout the country. They are giving shadow box fight in Kerala. So UDF is selectively silent on governor issue. It is silent on mayor letter issue. They are not protesting. Because UPF is hand in glove with CPM government. All right, Vivek, my colleague joins me from Trivandrum on the phone line. Vivek, a very good afternoon to you. Now, a senior BJP leader who's also been a former uh, union minister, Prakash Javrikar, coming out in support of the Kerala governor. This summit, the ongoing tussle between the state government and governor. What more can you tell us about BJP's latest attack on Pinaray Vijayan? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Prakash Chavrikar, the former Union Minister, spoke to the media today. He has hit out at the state government, saying that the state government is trying to create a constitutional crisis at this point of time. He said that growing the governor or trying to attack the governor, uh, you know, is something which is completely unconstitutional. And he also referred to the November 15th strike, uh, you know, uh, which is being called by the left parties, where they're expecting at least one lakh people. He said this is something which cannot be accepted. He also spoke uh, widely on uh, the vice chancellor issue uh, and also on the protests being held across Raj Bhavan. He said that the governor is doing uh, is working as per the constitution. Uh, also said uh, that uh, you know Congress party, which is supposed to raise this issue, uh, being the prime opposition, is handing club with the CPM and is not taking up this issue. Uh, remember, Prakash Javrikar is the Kerala in charge of uh, BJP, is the uh, Prabhari out here. Uh, he had said. Uh, that, uh, you know, in the coming days, more protests can be expected, uh, you know, uh, uh, against, uh, uh, you know, the, the CPM, uh, especially on the mayor issue. He was very much precisely speaking uh, on the mayor issue, where Mayor Arya Rajendran is alleged to have involved in a, in a political nepotism, where uh, she has sent a letter to the CPM district secretary saying that there are 295 jobs available and secretary can provide uh, the names, which means the names of the party affiliates. Now, this is something which Prakash Javrikar has uh, uh, spoken, uh, you know, highly on, saying uh, that this is something which is highly acceptable. And also came to the cooperation office today uh, while the protest was going on. So overall, uh, the BJP, the central leadership, has now decided to give a full support, indirect support to Governor Arif Mohammad Khan as far as issues concerned, and has warned the state government of a constitutional crisis and said that they will have to face the consequences if they continue the protest against the governor or the Rajpa. All right, you know, this entire conversation will be incomplete if we don't talk about the VC appointment row in Kerala that recently hit the headlines with the Kerala government now going on, uh, going ahead with the idea to uh, replace the governor with expert educationists. So if you can just break down this entire controversy for us, what exactly was the bone of contention between the two sparring sides, you know, when it comes to the functioning of the universities in the state? Yes, as far as the vice chancellor issue is concerned, uh, the, the, the biggest question, uh, uh, you know, the raised by Governor Arif Muhammad Khan is uh, regarding, uh, you know, the mode of the the, the modus of operandi, especially the way in which, uh, you know, the, uh, the 
chancellors has been appointed. The mode of induction has been tested. Now remember, the KTU, the Kerala Technical University Vice Chancellor, uh, has been uh, asked to step down by the Supreme Court, saying that uh, the UGC norms and regulations have not been followed. Following, she has to step down, and a new Vice Chancellor has been uh, come, uh, you know, has been appointed. Now, Governor says that nine Vice Chancellors in the state has been appointed by, you know. Uh, a committee, a search committee consisting of one member. Barely, the, according to UGC norms and regulations, there has to be three members, and this has to be appointed by a group of expert academicians. But in this particular case, in the, in the case of nine vice chancellors, these have been appointed by the state government directly. The government says it was merely, governor says that this is merely political appointment, and that's the reason why he has raised this issue, and he has asked all the nine vice chancellors to resign. Now, uh, it is, uh, you know, the government has now said that, you know, uh, they are going to give full support to all the vice chancellors. And now, today, the government has asked, uh, you know, has uh, amended an act, uh, you know, uh, and has uh, uh, decided to strip the governor of the vice chancellor post of the Kalamandalam uh, deemed to be university. However, uh, you know, to, for the governor to step down of the Kalamandalam, uh, you know, uh, by, you know, as a, a chancellor of Kalamandalam vice, uh, you know, uh, university, he right. has to sign it, which he has not signed till now. He has also got the option of sending it to the president. However, the state government has said that if at all the governor is sending it, they will be approaching the Supreme Court. So basically, on both sides, uh, that is on legal side, and uh, 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 you know, this matter is surely going to reach uh, you know the courts, and uh, that is where it becomes even more complicated. All right, Vivek, thank you so much for tracking all those interesting details for us.